I love the Lord today. Yeah. I'm I said, you love the Lord today? Hey, God is good. God is good. God is wonderful. God love you. And I want to tell everybody sitting out here, God ain't mad at you. God absolutely adore you. And God wants to touch you. God wants to save you. God wants to change your life. You know, if you, 27 years ago, if you'd have told me I'd have been doing this, I'd have cussed you out. You got an I'd have told you it was crazy. I'd have told you it was stupid. When he got to say. I used to make fun of preachers. I used to thought they were stupid. I used to make fun of the preachers on television. I used to laugh at them when they said, be healed. I used to make fun. I used to go to nightclubs and say, be healed, all of my little friends. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Well, now I'm saying the same thing. The very thing I made fun of, God got me doing it. Are you hearing me, church? Come on! God love you. God is a deliverer. I don't care what it is you're going through. I don't care if you've been abused. Jesus can heal you. I don't care if you're sad. Jesus can heal you. I don't care if you're lonely. Jesus can heal you. It don't make a difference what your situation is. The Lord Jesus can touch you. If you're an alcoholic, he can touch you. If you're a drug head, Jesus can touch you. If you're walking in fear, if you're walking in oppression, depression, Jesus can heal you. Whatever your situation is, the Lord Jesus can touch you. If you depress, if you oppress, and if you have a problem with fear, you're afraid to go outside. You're afraid of this. You're afraid of that. The Lord God himself can touch you and heal you. If you want to be touched by God, we're here today to pray for you. We're not God. We're not Jesus. But we represent Jesus. We represent the King of King and Lord of Lord. We represent the King of glory. You know, the Bible says every knee will bow one day. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the King of King and Lord of Lord. Jesus is the King of glory. One day, the eastern skies are going to open up. And the Bible says heaven and earth is going to be shaken with great power. And Jesus is going to come out of that sky riding a white horse. And on that thigh, say King of King and Lord of Lord. And the Bible said this right here. Whether you, whether you believe it or not, the Bible says your knee will bow one day and your tongue will confess that Jesus is the King of King and Lord of Lord. In the book of Psalm, they call him the King of Glory. And they also call him the Lord of Glory in the book of Corinthians. He's the Lord of glory, and he's the King of glory. He's the King of kings, and he's the Lord of Lord. He is Jesus, and Jesus wants to touch you. Jesus wants to love on you. Jesus wants to change you. He wants to touch your mind. I don't care how bad you've been there, how long you've been there. It doesn't make a difference how deep the situation is. Jesus can change you and pull you out because the Bible says the things in the natural are subject to change. If you need a change in your life, if you, go, you want God to change your circumstances, you got to take a step. If you're tired of being broke, tired of being sick, tired of being disgusted, tired of being busted up, you need to give Jesus a chance tonight and let Jesus touch you. That's right. If you're tired of being sick, if you're tired of living on the streets, if you're tired of walking around with not, not having anything, God can change your situation. God can do it for you. But you have to believe it and you have to let him. The devil had me on drugs. I was on drugs for years. I was a cocaine freak. I was an alcoholic, bad alcoholic. I mean, I stole, I cheated, I beat people, I hurt people, and I thought there was no hope for me. I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to die, you know, because I was on so much drugs, I had nobody to help me. And one day, I accepted Jesus 23 years ago, and I haven't done no drugs since. The Bible said who Jesus said free is free indeed. I didn't go to no AAA. I went to the big J. His name Jesus. Come on. And he set me free. I am free. I am not ashamed of my Lord Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of what he did for me. I had a disease in my body. The doctor said I want no cure for it. And Jesus healed me. The God that I serve is real. The God that I serve is mighty. I don't serve some little wimpy sissy Jesus. The Jesus that I serve is the almighty. He's awesome. He'll change your life. He'll change your mind. He'll change your direction. He'll take you from hell and right into heaven. I mean, Jesus loves you so much. Hell don't have no right to live inside of you unless you let it live inside of you. You give Jesus your will. You give Jesus your life and watch him change your life. He'll change your circumstances. You know, I used to, I used to stand preachers. I used to stand them. I was about I was in a nightclub, I was a, a bouncer, a bodybuilder, you know, I, I, I didn't want to hear nothing about no God. I'm probably like some of y'all sitting out here right now. You don't want to hear nothing about God. You probably think we strange. You probably think we stupid. But like I knew, I used to think the same way. Till one day Jesus got a hold of me, then I found out he's real. I dare you to give him a chance. You give Jesus a chance, I dare you to cry. I mean, I dare you even to challenge him. Challenge him, see if he's real. 
See if he's real. If you don't think he's real, I guarantee you, just tell him. Say, if you say who you, if you, if you say, if they say that you're Jesus, then prove it to me. Just go to him. Don't be a wimp. Just go to him. See, when, when we're around our friend, we bad. But you got to go home and lay down by yourself. That's a real devil. I don't care what you believe it or not. That's a real devil that hates your guts. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the Bible says he walks around as a royal lion, seeking who he may devour. He loves to devour people that don't love God. Hell is a real place. And the Bible says in hell you'll be eaten by worms, and the worm die not. And the Bible says you'll be in this fire, and this fire is unquenchable. And when I find out about hell, you'll be conscious. You'll be talking. The rich man died and went to hell and said, put your finger in a cup of water and let it drop fall on my tongue, for I am being tormented. He was talking. And he said, I have a brother that have five sons. Go and warn them so they don't come to this place. Hell, you don't get a break. You don't get to get a beer break in hell. You don't get to get a Kool-Aid break in hell. You don't get a water break in hell. It's torment, 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 day and night torment. And Jesus died for you. So you don't have to go to that place called hell. The Bible says hell is not made for human beings. It's made for the devil and all of his angels. Jesus loved you. The man died for you. He took a beating for you. If you'd have been the only person on this world, if you'd have been the only people sitting here, he'd have still came and died for you because he loved you so much. Jesus absolutely loved you. He loved you. He ain't mad at you. He loved you. Even though you're done wrong, guess what he said? You'll get it right one day. He's always believing you. And the Bible says he has confidence in you. God believes in you. You know why he believes in you? Because he made you. He created you. So he believes in you. God loves you. And the day will come, I'm telling you, the day will come that every woman, every man, every boy, every girl need going to bow one day. And, they, and they're going to have to confess that he is the King of King and Lord of Lord. The day will come. So you need to get in some practice now. Start bowing your knee now. Start telling God now that you love him. I'm going to ask a question. Anybody sitting here, you don't know Jesus? Be honest, you don't know him, and you like to know him, well, we're here to pray with you. We're here to pray with you. We're not here to take anything from you. We're not, we're not here taking up no offering. We're not here saying we want your money. We came to give today. We came to tell you that God loves you. We don't want nothing from you. We just want you to give your life to Jesus so you don't have to die and burn. Because this is not hell on this earth. This is a picnic compared to the real deal. God loves you, and God wants to change you, and God wants to change your mind. God wants to change your heart. God just wants to come inside of you and live his life inside of you so you can look like his son, Jesus. If you're here today, if you want that, if you want that, I'm here to pray for you. You know, it takes it take faith. It takes faith to get out of your seat and just come and get it. And you can't do it with no shame because the Bible says if you be ashamed of God, be ashamed of God in front of your friend, he said, I'd be ashamed of you. But he said, you confess me before man. I will confess you before God. This is what Jesus said. If you confess, confess me before man, I will confess you. Let me ask you a question. Do you want him? Yeah. If you want him, if you want him, I'm here to pray with you right now. I'm here to pray with you. If you're sick in your body, if you need me to pray for you for your body, if you got something in your body that ain't right, I want to pray for you. You stand right here and I'll come pray for you. If something inside of you that is in you that's not right, that making you uncomfortable, that causing you high blood, heart problem, low blood, or whatever it is, sugar diabetes, whatever it is. If you got any sickness in your body, I'm telling you, Jesus is a master healer. I just want to pray with you. Stand together. I just want to prove to you that God is who we say he is. So if you have any sickness in your body, come. I want to pray for you. God will heal you. It don't mean a difference who you are. God will heal you. If you want God to touch you, please come now. I want to pray for you. And you can't have no fear. You got to want it. You have to want it. And if you want it, God will bless you. Amen, church? Amen. Do y'all still love Jesus? Yeah. Do you really love him? Yeah. So if you're here today, if you need me to pray with you, will you come now? I'm here. I'm ready. And it's free. You don't have to pay me no money. It's free. Amen. We'll get a lot of hand clap. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Yeah, Jesus.